Okay, in this video I want to just tell you a little bit about my art. I'm not sure if it's really going to be a tutorial, but it will be an introduction to how you can do some of it, and I'll have a link in the somewhere. There will be a link to my uh, displaying off some of my artwork. I would love to see someone take my little introduction and run with it like I did and make some really interesting stuff because I haven't seen too many people do anything with it. So, yeah, that'd be really cool. Because I love what I can do with it, and I'd love to see what others can do with it. Anyhow, what you're going to need is some of these. Not sure how well you can see it there, but packing peanuts, that's, that's what you're going to be using. Not just any packing peanuts, though. You can't just use any packing peanuts. These happen to be biodegradable packing peanuts from Office Depot. I think there's other places you can go, but I got this big bag from Office Depot. Um, and I'll show you what I can do with them. Yeah, so I'm just gonna open it up a little bit. I guess this is an unpacking for packing supplies. I, I whatever. I think it's going to be really cool. I'm sure you've seen some packing peanuts. I'm not sure if you've seen them this way. This particular biodegradable kind from Office Depot. This is the culprit right there. That's what you're going to be working with if you do decide to get into packing peanut art like I did. Um, I did most of it without any instruction and I hope to supply some instructions so that people can do it easier and maybe they can give me some feedback because I really don't know what I'm doing either I've only been doing it for a few years and only like a year seriously like before this past year I wasn't making anything serious I think I made uh, necklace with a little flower on it, like right in the center. It didn't look very cool. That was probably four years ago when I did that one. Um, before that, I made a tortoise. I think those were the only pieces that I actually did. No, 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 that's not true. I made some some mushrooms from the Mario games. I made some of those which is kind of cool. Those are probably the most serious before this year. Um, so let me do this introduction now. As you see, I, actually you didn't see, but you see how it's flattened? You just have to push your fingers up again, up against it. You gotta get to play with it down, right? Um, you can do it either way. You can push it this way too. You really can't do it once you push it one direction, but yeah. So this is what you do, is you push down on it and you squish it. I do this for most of my pieces, although sometimes the fluffy ones work better. Not all the time. But, yeah. So you push it, I usually push against it. It'll still have a little bit of a curve and you can use that to your advantage. Um, anyhow, yeah. That's what you do. By the way, this is all you need to make packing peanut art. Just packing peanuts. And a source of water. But we'll get to that in a little bit. So you just push it this way. Um, when you are squishing it, squish it like I showed. Do not do this. Because then they rip. And uh, you can probably still use them, but it, I don't think it's as strong. And you want them to be a little bit more sturdy because these things are kind of breakable. It's easily fixed and I think that's got some validity to it. If you want to keep more of the curve, right, you can squish it this way. You can keep more of the curve. 
really there's a lot of different reasons to get the right shape that you want. Even though you're probably going to be making larger pieces, you want to make everything flow. And you can see that in some of my pieces, and I'll probably get to that in a later video. Um, anyhow, so you have some pieces here, and you need a water source. I usually use, wait for it, it's kind of disgusting to some people anyhow. I think it's perfectly fine. These things, by the way, are certified as edible by the FDA, I think is the department that deals with the food administration or whatever. Um, so I just use my tongue, and when these things get wet, they get sticky. So it changes the texture a little bit. I'm not sure if you can see that here, especially if you leave the moisture on there before sticking them together. And then there you go. It's stuck together. I usually stick them, you know, with the curves running into each other, like that, to. I don't know, I guess make them stronger. Maybe I'm just a little OCD and I think they should go that way. I don't. That's just how I've done it. But you can just keep sticking these things. And they'll, they'll just stick together. Really easy like. And then you can make things. This isn't very interesting. It's nothing really. I guess it could be a T for Tyler. Um. I don't really know which way that would be. Maybe it looks more like a J, I guess. Uh, but yeah, you can make them. And you're probably going to make it more 3D. Instead of flat like that was. Like, maybe it's a fly or something now. This is very simple. This isn't much uh, art yet. But, you know, you start off with simple things. I think the first thing I made was actually a ball. You know, I just stuck it together, and it's a ball, I guess. Kind of. I made mine a little bit bigger, I guess, so, but just a little bit. I just, just kept putting them on there, and you could do that if you're following my every exact step. And you just start adding them on there. But anyhow, that's the introduction to packing peanuts, which I think might just be a very interesting media for any aspiring artists. Especially 3D artists. I wasn't actually a 3D artist much until I got into packing peanuts. I was introduced to clay and I hated it. The packing peanuts have worked really well for me. Um, I guess they might be caloric. You might get some calories in it if you just, you know, licking on them a lot. You can eat these things. Um, I'm not sure if I should encourage that. Maybe you shouldn't lick them. That's just my stupidity, I guess. Maybe you should wet them with a sponge or spray bottle. Um, any way that you can wet them, they will become sticky. Or you can eat them. But again, I didn't suggest that. It doesn't taste very good, by the way. Um... Besides that, I do think the tongue is a better goose. Not just because it you always have it. Because when you spray it, the water gets all over the piece instead of where you want it. And it gets it much wetter than the tongue gets it. At least my tongue. The sponge does something very similar to that. I guess it's a little easier to control. And if you really wring it out, it's not as uh, wet. It's a little... Um, just more damp and easier to work with. You don't want to get these things too wet because then they will dissolve. That was the whole intention behind making them like that. So that packing peanuts wouldn't just go to waste. Uh, but they'd either be recycled and reused or they would just, you know, become nothingness after you put them in water. Anyhow, go make some packing peanut art, or eat some packing peanuts. It's really disgusting. I don't know why I'm doing this. Um, yeah, art. Cool stuff. You should check out some of mine.
I do this. I'm hoping to make a uh, photographic tutorial soon. Until then, bye.